is my mother. Everyone calls her Mother Williams. She is the one that was responsible for taking me to church and teaching me about prayer and the things of the Lord. This is Evangelist Catherine Kuhlman, a powerful woman of God. Many of you have heard uh, about Catherine Kuhlman. Uh, she had a miracle and healing ministry, and I never will forget my mother took me to her services, and I uh, saw people get out of wheelchairs and the blinded eyes open. It was such an anointing in the services, and the Lord so blessed my sister and I to be able to go up on the platform where she was, and people was being slayed in the spirit, and Catherine uh, Kuhlman laid hands on me, and from that point on, I was slayed in the spirit. It was like if I, I was just asleep. Uh, and when I woke up, I felt such a presence of the Lord. And from that point on, it changed my life. Uh, I would watch her on TV. It was only two, I believe, uh, evangelists at that time in the 60s that was on television. And it was Catherine Kuhlman and A.A. Uh, a. Allen. Also, Jeet Martin, who was a, uh, his singer. He was just a young uh, boy at the time. So Catherine Kuhlman, she really impacted my ministry to the point where I just wanted to spend time in God's presence. Pastor Ernestine Cleveland Reeves, all one of God's generals. Actually, I was just with her on last week, and we just sat down and talked about memories. Uh, when I was at her church uh, at the age of, I met her when I was 14 years old. Uh, it was so awesome. She spoke into my life. She mentored me. I had the uh, opportunity to travel with her uh, many times. She taught us about fasting and prayer, ministry, living holy and pure before the Lord. Uh, not only that, she also released us uh, as young people to preach. I can never remember the time that I preached there, actually, at the Center of Hope Community Church. Uh, we were in our old building at the time, and I was 16 years old, and she said, Diane, I want you to preach tonight. And I was so excited, and I preached a message, I will bless the Lord at all times, and His praises shall continue to be in my mouth. I was just so excited about it. Uh, not only that, it was amazing that my whole family ended up uh, getting saved and all of us became a member of Center of Hope Church under the leadership of this mighty woman of God uh, who so blessed all of our lives. So I thank God for her. She is now 87. She'll be 88 July 7th and still strong in the Lord. Uh, just an awesome woman of God. Uh, it was just a blessing to be with her. And she just began to pour and speak into my life again, like she did when I was 14 years old. So I just praise the Lord for God using her to even prophesy over me when I was young. And Next, we have Bishop Esley Simmons. Uh, he is a local pastor here. Uh, in the Sacramento area, South Sacramento Christian Center. My husband and I started out with him uh, when he first moved to Sacramento. We was with him, with him. And this man of God spoke into my life. He prophesied in my life. This is where uh, the prophetic gift uh, started, uh, I want to say, brewing. And he would, uh, people would, the different ones would get up in church and they would speak in tongues. And the Lord would have me to uh, interpretate. And there was times as well that um, I would uh, ask him uh, if I can release a prophetic word. And he would always uh, allow me and gave me that liberty uh, to release the word of the Lord. So he saw the gift and he spoke it to my life. Uh, the Lord allowed me to uh, help uh, in the ministry there. Uh, I was a part or over, I could say, uh, the evangelistical ministry where we would go out on the street and win so many souls to the Lord Jesus Christ. So I praise God for this man of God, not only him, but his wife also, Pastor Deborah Simmons. Uh, they inspired my life when I first moved here to Sacramento, and it was such a blessing working with them in ministry.
I love the both of them so much, and I thank God for both of them. This is my late husband, Marlon Lestrick. The Lord um, have the Lord really blessed us. The Lord really blessed our marriage. We were married for uh, 23 years. Uh, we was in ministry together. He went to a great ministry in the Bay Area. Uh, he came out of uh, West Contra Costa Christian Center. And that is where I met him at. When I met him, uh, he wasn't an apostle or a prophet. He was just Brother Marlin, uh, just getting saved. And uh, not too long after that, we got married. And it was amazing how the Lord had me to speak into his life. And I would speak into his life. I would prophesy over him. And then after, years after that, God turned it where he would speak into my life. He had a strong uh, gift of the prophetic on his life. Uh, he had tremendous revelation. And I can remember one time uh, we was traveling together. We went to Texas and uh, we had to preach in Texas. And the church was packed. It was full of people. And I can remember him at that particular time. I was flowing in the prophetic, but not like, you know, it was uh, it was being uh, I was still uh, a, a baby prophet. I just want to say that just kind of the gifts was just being stirred. I was just learning how to hear the voice of the Lord. And I can remember him handing me the mic and he said here prophesy. And when he told me I looked at him, he looked at me. He said here prophesy and he handed me the mic and I didn't have a choice. I had to pray. I said, Lord, just stir up the gift. I'm just praying. And I tell you, that particular night, the Lord just really used me in the prophetic. And I just began to speak and call people out and just minister to them and prophesy the word of the Lord. And I've been prophesying every ever since. He was one that uh, had a strong anointing for uh, prophetic activation. When we would have the school of the prophets, people that had never prophesied before, uh, when he finished with them, believe me, you were you were coming out of that seminar in that class prophesying. The Lord had just put that gift in him. He just knew ministry. He knew how to pull ministry out of you. So I praise the Lord because he knew uh, how to pull that, uh, cause that gift to come forth, the uh, the birth forth in my life. So I praise God for uh, my late husband, Apostle Marlon Lestrick, one who uh, many know. And many will not forget. Uh, many times when I'm out and about in Sacramento, I say people all the time. We are one in the Spirit. We are one in the Lord. We are one in the Spirit. We are one in the Lord. And we pray that our unity may one day be restored. And they'll know we are Christians by our Christians by our love